To build a 5G network, you need a new type of telecoms gear. You need many more base stations and they need to be smarter. It is the Chinese tech company Huawei which makes the most advanced 5G gear, but this has been making Western governments nervous. So I've come to find out who are Huawei. It may look like Paris, but this is Huawei's brand new campus in Shenzhen, China. A huge site where employees take a train between office buildings, each of which is modelled on a different European city. Few journalists have visited this Disney World-like project, very much the brainchild of Rung Jungfei, the company's founder. He's been compared to the likes of Steve Jobs, growing his company from a small workshop to a global tech giant, now employing 180,000 people. Huge spending on research means Huawei claim they're now around 18 months ahead of any other 5G manufacturer. And that includes not just getting faster and faster data speeds, but also dealing with the problems that come from higher performance. So this is uh, Huawei's 5G wireless base station. So normally in 5G, the power is around uh, 1,000 watts. And how much bigger is that than a 4G base station? I think in 4G base station, normally the average power is uh, 300 watts. 300, and yeah. this is? So so it's three times larger. So this uses yeah. three times as much power. Yeah. So it gets hotter. Yeah, it's much hotter. It's a common problem in technology. As things get faster and they consume more power, they get hotter and new cooling techniques need to be developed. This is a liquid cooling cycling. Is that liquid boiling in there? Yeah, it's a bubble. So that is boiling and then coming yeah, through this tube. Yeah, it's boiling. Right, okay. Here, they're learning how different designs and materials can change the speed and direction that heated air flows away from the components. And here's an experiment to try and keep everything at a stable temperature by either applying heat or cold on demand. Yeah, that's gone cold. Yeah, that's yeah. hot. Yeah. <laughs> Huawei is currently enjoying huge success with revenues last year in excess of $100 billion. But this is also a company facing some serious issues. The biggest is that the US is coming for Huawei in a big way. Look, we have met the enemy, and it is Huawei, and it is China. Make no doubt about that. You know, right now, Lou, Huawei, through access to unlimited capital from the Chinese government, the sure. communist government, all of this technology, guess what? It's built in for cyber spying, for cyber espionage, because that's what the Chinese do. The problem is, Mr. Run was once a member of China's People's Liberation Army. And that's raised suspicions about his links to the Chinese state and whether it and Huawei may have each other's backs. America is adamant that Huawei is a pawn of the Chinese authorities. In 2017, China passed the National Intelligence Law, which says that, if asked, all Chinese companies and citizens must help the government to assist national intelligence efforts. China claims this is part of an effort to safeguard its security. But the fear is that if Huawei supplies any country's 5G network, the Chinese could exploit it. To help the government decide whether Huawei should be in the UK's 5G network, the British security services have a special unit devoted to looking at the potential risks posed by Huawei. It's overseen by Dr Ian Levy. His job is to defend the UK against digital attacks. He rarely gives interviews. Does Huawei pose more of a security risk than the other companies that supply the network infrastructure? So I think what we're, we're yeah, talking about yeah. is um, assume the Chinese state wants to attack the UK telecoms networks. Our job is to try and make them work just as hard regardless about whether we use, use Huawei kit or not. Many people think the Chinese state would love to eavesdrop on other countries. So if we let Huawei into 5G, is that a real danger? It's no more likely to have spying on communications in 5G than it is in 4G. And anything that's critical, whether it's government, business, 
even personal communications should be encrypted. So you know, all of the communications with your bank from your smartphone, they're all encrypted because you don't want to trust the Wi-Fi and the, and the telecoms network. So if someone's listening on the line, they'll just get garbled They get encryption. gobbled a gook, yep. And it's the same for critical stuff in business and government in control systems. So, according to GCHQ, the threat of spying that we've heard so much about recently is overblown. But there is another threat that they take very seriously. In a future where our entire infrastructure, our economy and our lives are run by computers talking to each other over a 5G network, what would happen if someone shut that network down? If you think about it, the future of warfare is not necessarily going to be using traditional armies in the way that we think of like with the Second World War. The future of warfare is most likely going to be cyber. So without firing a shot, you could take a country out. It's feared that the Chinese state could order Huawei to build secret backdoors in a 5G network. These would leave the country vulnerable to a nationwide cyber attack. And that could be catastrophic.